Well, from one girl to another, I'm backstage with the beautiful Karen Harding. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, I'm very well. Everybody's so polite today. Everybody's oh, asking how I am. I think they see that I'm stressed. Yeah. <laughs> you seem, you're doing all right. But I seem chilled. Your outfit is amazing, by the way. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, love like, it. ASOS for one. We've been complimenting each other on shoes and can't, on outfits, having a proper little chat. Can't deny, can't deny. So, say something that came out at the beginning of the year, and yeah. since then, my goodness me, what a roller coaster it has been for yeah. you. And an upwards one as well. It's been incredible. Yeah, it's. it's it's unexpected mm -hmm. and a bit crazy, but amazing at the same time. Yeah. How did it all come about then? Was it just uh, you woke up and you're like, oh, I'm now in the industry? Or were you plugging <laughs> away for a very long time? Um, <laughs> plugging away for a very long time. Um, Emma and EK got in touch with me um, and he was like, do you want to come down and work in the studio? And I was like, yeah, of course. So we, we were working together and um, Say Something just came from that and um, the labels picked up on that. Did you plan. believe it was him though when he first contacted you? Did he contact you online? Or yeah. Because oh. I wouldn't believe that if someone got into it was like, hey, I'm George Clooney, do you want to come? <laughs> that, that is exactly what I was like. <laughs> you it was, wouldn't it you? Was, it was on Facebook and the message went something like, um, I'm really ill today. Um, <laughs> we've been looking on YouTube um, and I saw your videos, do you want to come down? And I was like, I don't really know who you are, but this sounds like a great idea. So. Yeah. Yeah, and it was the best decision I can I've imagine made. what my mum would have been like. She'd be like, I'll come with you. Yeah. <laughs> We're going on a shopping trip. <laughs> I don't think I even told my mum. I was just like, mum, I'm just going away. Bye. Yeah. And how has life changed since, since January? It's it's just been crazy. We've been in mm -hmm. the studio. Um, I've been in the studio. Um, just like, just gigging a lot, you yeah. know, and um, meeting loads of different producers and artists mm -hmm. and um, it's, just, it's just so much fun. Like, I'm just, it's just, yeah, so you've much fun. You've been working with some incredible producers, I have to say, some yeah. incredible people. I bet you've learned so much as well recently. Yeah, it's, it's so inspirational mm -hmm. as well, like from, just from what these people have made and like how much I loved them when I was younger or even now and I'm getting to work with these people and it's like, yeah, it just blows us away sometimes. Yeah, pause a moment and just take it all in. Yeah. It's, brilliant thing that's happened and this week in particular is a massive massive week for you would you tell us why yeah the, it just <laughs> came about I, I feel like i've been in the clouds somewhere and then suddenly <laughs> these two songs have just appeared um no it's i've i've done i've got two tunes out this week two records out this yes. week um one with blonde mm -hmm. and it's called feel good mm -hmm. and the other one is with archers and that one's called new love been a busy um, bee, haven't you? Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's crazy, and I love the songs. Like, it's just, um, I just, I'm so happy that they've come out now, and everyone's still in that summer zone because they're quite up, upbeat and uplifting. So, mm -hmm. I, I hope everybody likes them and latches onto them. And what are they like compared to Say Something, your first single? Um, they're a lot happier. Oh, um, really? Yeah, I would say so. Like, a bit more, even a bit more diva, um, mm. and a bit, uh, yeah, I think something Have like you become a little bit of a diva? No. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> That's what I'm doing now. Yeah, just the finger click and I'm like, where's, where's my suitcase? And you've yeah. just got back from Ibiza as well. Yes, is yeah. That holiday, fun, or is it work? It was work, but it's not work really when you're singing, so it's it was holiday fun. I had like, 12 friends over, we booked a villa and mm -hmm. like just had a good old party session, I think, all week. It's good, really good August. fun. All good. Yeah, yeah. And I have to say, I did pre-warn you about this game. So, right, okay. based on the title of your first single, Say Something, yeah. the whole point of the game is I ask you kind of an awkward question and you have no choice but to answer it. You have to say something, you have to give me an answer. Okay. Are you ready? Are you up for I it? I think so, you yeah. You have to be up for it, you're here yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh okay, question number one, Karen. When was the last time you lied? Um, oh, you said you liked my outfit. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> imagine, imagine that. No, that looks good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so no. Actually, I don't know. I'm a really bad liar. Oh, are you? Um, yeah, I'm terrible. Terrible. Oh, that's I, good, I, I was trying, gonna try and lie to you there, but I just couldn't think of anything to say. <laughs> so I can't really remember the last time I lied. That makes you a good person. You should keep that quality. It's a beautiful quality to have. Number two. When was the last time you fancied somebody, but you didn't have the guts to go up and make a move on them? Oh wow. This happened all the time at school. Does it? Yeah, oh, it did was, it at school? Yeah, right, yeah, okay. at school. Yeah, it doesn't happen now because now I have um, more confidence. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was, I think, oh, I don't know. It might have been like an actual, like, female singer that I was working with just because she probably just looked so amazing. And you went to go compliment like, her. You yeah, look like a fan girl. Not even, not even <laughs> fancy, just like, yeah, you look amazing. <laughs> yeah. Number three, when was the last time you opened a present and you said you loved it, but deep down it was just not for you? Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, how, th this happens on a regular occurrence to everybody. Oh, yeah, with it? me. My mum thinks I love wrapped Primark socks. Nothing oh, wrong wow. with Primark, but you know, it's not yeah. a present, is no, it? No, I can no. buy my 50p socks. Yeah. But that's for me. Um, this is, stop turning it around. Sorry. You're very clever. <laughs> I give, my time, give myself time to think. Um, I think 
Maybe it was like some, oh God. Maybe it was something that my mom gave us. Mm -hmm. It was like some like body lotion that smelled really bad or something. That's not good. And I was like, mom, like, I, uh. so I think <laughs> that was probably it. Number four. When was the last time you had a date that was a complete and utter disaster? Oh, I think maybe, um, you know, when you just sit on your phones the whole time. And you just get yeah, a bit that's awkward. really antisocial. Not yeah, up to that. I mean, Are you in a relationship at the moment? Maybe. <laughs> so silly. You have to say something. I just yeah, I do. I do. I do. Mm, is it yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll pick two more questions for you. I'm trying to okay. wish it would be the meanest one for you. Oh my God, have you no. really disagreed with someone before, but you haven't really had the guts to tell them that they are just in the wrong in your opinion? Um, Maybe there's a song that you were given that someone wanted you to like. And like oh. <laughs> okay, awkward laugh moment. Um, yes, let's not, let's not make note of that. Um, you know what? To be honest, um, I always tell people straight. Mm -hmm. In most cases, if I don't like something, sometimes when I'm writing in a session, I would be like, okay, did you really just come up with that? And then it's usually a great idea, so it's best not to say anything. <laughs> and final question, I'm not going to put you through this game anymore. You've okay. done so well, so thank you for doing it. <laughs> can you quickly give your fans a big explanation of where they can see you, where they can watch you on tour, and about your two records that are coming out, how they can get hold of those? Okay. Um, the two singles out this week are available on iTunes and available to stream on Spotify. And yeah, I'm gigging. I've got some big gigs coming in Birmingham. Um, there's a few in London coming up. And there's, um, yeah, there's loads coming up. It's just. Um, so we can keep an eye on you on Twitter. Yeah, it's it all on Twitter. On. Yeah, Brilliant. all on Twitter. Well, thank you so much, Karen. It's been a delight thank you. talking to you. Thank you. <laughs>